today on the Philly Tall Podcast, I got a couple different topics I want to get into as it pertains to the Eagles. However, we got to start here with this tweet from John Clark. He's pretty much saying, if the Eagles win nine straight, we automatically get to the NFC Championship and probably the Super Bowl. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, Eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast, and I know, I know, I know. Winning nine straight does not mean NFC Championship or Super Bowl, but we'll break down this tweet. Before we do that, though, can I ask you a favor? Help your boy out. Hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and ding that notification bell so you could be a part of Notification Gang. Also, there's a link in the description. It's a free app called the Chalkboard app. It's now out for Android and iPhone users. We talk Eagle news behind the YouTube scenes. Just go to the description, click the link, free, make a username, and chop it up. Now, let's get to this tweet, and the middle part we won't really touch because the Eagles are 8-0 for the first time in team history is something we've been talking about on this channel since we beat the Texans on Thursday Night Football. But I do like that the Eagles are already 11-point favorites Monday night versus the Washington blah, blah, blahs. Can't take them lightly. We'll talk more about that matchup later in the week as we get closer to Monday Night Football. But we should beat the Washington blah, blah, blahs. This is why I got this tweet up. With a win, Birds would match their franchise record with nine straight wins. The other three times the Eagles found a way to win nine straight throughout a season was 2017, and we won the Super Bowl. 2003, we made the NFC Championship game in 1960, we won the NFL championship. Back then, there wasn't a thing called a Super Bowl. And I'm not bringing up the 1960 championship to talk about old championship like Dallas Crybaby fans do. We won in the 70s and the 90s and blah, blah, blah. Shush. I'm bringing it up to say when the Eagles are dominant enough to win nine straight in the regular season, we do something with it. We do something with it. Three times we won nine in a row. Three times we got to a, an important game. It's as simple as that. And this team is dominant enough to do it. We've won these type of games so many different ways. It's not just win, win, win. It's how we're winning. Some games we rush. Some games we pass. Some games we play total defense. Some games we got to go get close to 10 sacks. Some games we got to intercept it multiple times. Some games we got to go down methodical. Some games we got to win with the weather being bad. We've done all that. And we have not lost yet. That's important. This team is dominant. And it's not just built for the now. It's built for the later too. That's where this topic comes in handy. Not this one. This topic comes in handy. The Saints lost last night to the Baltimore Ravens. Shout out to my guy Kendall Beck. What a sight to see. Right now, the Eagles hold the sixth overall pick from the Saints. So this team is dominant. It's built to win this year. We are Super Bowl favorites. This week, we became Super Bowl favorites. Check it. Check your, your, your favorite uh, sports betting app. We are the Super Bowl favorites. And we also got the sixth overall pick because we got New Orleans Saints first round pick, and they're not playing good football. Let's talk about a couple other things. The Eagles do make a roster move. Uh, we sign Andre Chassere from the practice squad to the active roster, meaning we have an open practice squad spot. We sign tackle Fred Johnson there. The Andre Chassere move is interesting. Could we try to use him more than we use Kavon Wallace in three safety looks or when we got to give Epps? or Chauncey Garner Johnson a breather. Mind you, early in the season, well, the preseason, the training camp process, Kevon Wallace was losing reps to Andre Chachere. So I don't know what happened there, and it's interesting. No injuries in the safety department, but we're bringing him to the active roster. So keep an eye on that. 
Lastly, I do want to talk about something I mentioned in yesterday's video. People are saying that you are only saying Jalen Hurts is going to win the MVP because Josh Allen got hurt. I didn't know he was hurt. When I made the video, it was like 3.30, 4 o'clock. I did not see the updates of him being possibly injured. I wish him the best. I want him to get back healthy for a couple reasons. Just because I don't wish injury on no player. Plus, guess who the Bills play this week? The Vikings. And like I said about the Vikings being only a game and a half, we need them to lose games. After the Bills, their schedule is not that hard. So, Josh Allen get better. He did have a bad game. I do believe Hurts was ahead of him. And I want to see him play for the Bills. They give competition to Jalen Hurts in the MVP run. Plus, beat the Vikings. Give us some space. So, uh, shout out to Josh Allen. I wish him the best. And let's talk about the Vikings a little bit because let's look at their schedule. They play the Bills. If Josh Allen's there, cool. It's going to be tough. If not, they probably going to walk through the Bills. Then they got the Cowboys. Who do we root for there? Cowboys are on our tail too. We do play in one time. So we do kind of control that destiny better than we control the Vikings. I think the Vikings could beat the Cowboys, to be honest. We'll see when we get there. The Patriots, one week they're good, one week they're bad. Not sure. Jets, they've been playing good, but can they hold this out? Then they got the Lions. They're bad. Then they got the Colts. They're bad. Then they got the Giants. Playing good football now, but maybe their true colors come out at the end of the season. Week 16. Packers? They got three wins and just lost to the Lions. I don't see them being a big threat. And last but not least, the Bears. So I again, this Bills game is the toughest matchup the Vikings will have to play through the remainder of their season. If Allen don't play, that could be a cupcake walk. And I say that to say this. Right now, the Eagles have a game and a half, one and a half game lead on the Vikings because we beat them as well. But if the Eagles go ahead and somehow slip up and lose two or three games the rest of the season, and the Vikings only lose one because of this cupcake schedule, well, now they have the number one seed. And my goal is to beat teams, to be healthy, and to have the playoffs go through Philly. Because when it's cold, and that Philly crowd is yelling, it's going to be hard to come out with a dub. Whether you're the Vikings, the Giants, the, the Niners, or the Cowboys. It's going to be real tough if it's going through Philly. And a game and a half lead with nine games, stuff can go wrong. Not going to fake wood. Need the Vikings to lose. That's why I was rooting for the Commanders. It was in my yesterday's video. Some of y'all saying I don't get it. Commanders got four win losses. They're not close to us. Vikings not in our division, but they got one loss. The half game is because we beat them. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section as it pertains to the Vikings. Let me know what you think about Josh Allen. Let me know what you think about the roster move. Let me know what you think about the Saints pick sitting at number six. Was four. They beat the Raiders. Now they lose to the Ravens. And, and it's crazy because there's a lot of teams three and six. The Packers, the Bears, the, the Jags, the Cardinals, the Saints. So. Saints start winning, that six pick could jump to the number 10th pick. Or because two and six, two and six, two and six, they start losing, they could jump to the third pick. So we still got to monitor this thing. <laughs> we still got to monitor this thing. Um, but let me know all your thoughts. Let me know on the history of the Eagles winning nine straight, all that stuff. I appreciate everybody in here. Make sure if you haven't, hit that like button, subscribe, ding the bell. I am very tired today. Uh, Wife was sick last night. I wanted to do the Sixers game, but the wife was sick last night. One of the kids started getting sick. And because she was really sick, I had to do the whole night duty plus go to work. It's only like 5.30, and I am extremely tired. I appreciate y'all. Until next time, y'all know what time it is. We out.